you guys welcome back to Maison Molly I'm Ash Molly and today we're finally going to be making white mochas we're actually going to make two mochas first we're going to make a hot one with the lint white chocolate and then for good measure we're going to make an iced one with this Ghirardelli white chocolate sauce let's make some mocha <laughs> like comment and subscribe down below show your girls some love you guys can also find me over on instagram at maison molly we truly do have a good time there and you don't want to miss the coffee party you can follow me on instagram right here let's make some mochas Happy Wednesday, friends. Today is actually my Friday at work. And usually once Wednesday rolls around, I'm kind of sleepy like I am right now. I've got my robe on. I'm ready for work though. I go to work in about an hour. And so I usually on Wednesdays definitely need a more sweeter coffee pick me up. So I figured you guys have requested mochas before, white mochas, and I figured today would be the perfect day to do so. So today we're going to make it nice and easy since I got to go to work. We're going to make two white mochas. So first we're going to make a hot mocha um, that I can drink right now. We're going to make it with these white chocolate squares. My personal preference is I love using real chocolate. I just find the drinks to be a lot creamier and a lot more luxurious, right? So we're actually going to so use white chocolate mocha recipe. And then for good measure, we're going to go ahead after and make an ice mocha to go. So I'm going to take this one to work with me. And then I'll also get to compare the chocolate and the syrup and see which one I like better. And you guys will know which one is better as well. Um, for the ice one, we're just going to use this Ghirardelli white chocolate flavored um, white chocolate sauce. In addition to that, I also stopped by the Nespresso store last week and did a mini pod haul. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys the new pods that I just acquired. Okay guys, so before we get into everything else, let's see what pods we got because I'm going to be using one of these pods for my hot white mocha. So of course I went ahead and got Il Cafe. You guys saw me try it the other day on my channel for the first time and I really, really loved it and I really want to try it iced. I actually went with a girlfriend and she had never tried it before so I opened it so that she could try one of them but excited to get this one for iced drinks. Next up I got, let's see, um, Buenos Aires Lungo. This one is for my original line machine. I really do love it. It's really sweet and creamy and makes for like an excellent flat white or a cappuccino. I also did a restock on Altissio because of course we know um, Altissio is perfect for nice, creamy, rich drinks. And I thought that it would be great for the white mocha. So I actually think this is what we're gonna be using for our white mocha today. It has a high intensity, it's a little bit darker, but still creamy, so it should help to cut through the sweetness of the white chocolate. Last but not least, I got another Original Line pod. I got the Barista Creation uh, Cacao Truffle. I had never tried this one before, and my girl at the store suggested that I try it. And, you know, we always want to try new things, so I'll be sure to let you guys know what I think of this one. Let's go make a mocha. Alrighty friends, so let's go ahead and make our hot white mocha. Of course, we're gonna be needing chocolate. So I'm using this Lindt Classic Recipe white chocolate. We're gonna use the white chocolate with the milk and I'm actually gonna blend them together under the mocha setting in my barista, so super easy. Then we're gonna go ahead and brew an Altissio over it. I might use a double shot, haven't decided yet. And then um, for the top, we are gonna blend together or we're gonna foam together some half and half with this uh, white chocolate mocha creamer from Starbucks and top it off on our drink. Um, of course, you guys will be able to find all of the measurements down below. So let's get to making this drink. Such a beautiful sunny day outside. I'm gonna put six ounces of milk into my barista.
wouldn't be me if I didn't spill a little. And then I'm gonna open the chocolate squares and we're gonna use, let's see how many. I was munching on this last night. I bought it at the grocery store. Couldn't wait. I'm gonna put a whole bar, so like five of these little ones. Hello, and then we're gonna head over to the mocha setting. There we go. While that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and make the topping for the drink. So for that, we're gonna use uh, two ounce of half and half. You can, of course, just use um, regular cream if you want for this. It'll definitely make it thicker. I'm gonna use an ounce of the Starbucks, ooh, that is thick. An ounce of the Starbucks uh, white mocha, white chocolate mocha. We're gonna foam this. So it looks as though our mocha is ready, the combination. Let's turn this off. Stir into our cup. And now we're gonna go brew Altissio over it. I always say in case you guys are wondering, my pod holder, it is in my Amazon store down below, but we're gonna go ahead and brew Altissio. And I think I will go ahead since we have so much room and add another shot. Okay, so I think that is looking absolutely delish. I'm gonna go ahead and top it off with, ooh, that's warm, a little bit of cream. Ooh, don't overflow. There you have it, guys, a white hot mocha. Let's go test it out. I'm excited, this is my first time. Okay guys, let's go ahead and give our white hot mocha a try. It's really good. Whew. It's so like soft and sweet and smooth. I think that Altissio definitely did it justice. I don't wanna like this so much because then this means I'm gonna be having chocolate drinks all the time. <laughs> Why did I wait so long to make this? Yeah guys, this is delish, must try. Gonna link exactly how to make it down in the description. Um, if you guys make it, tag me on Instagram, I wanna see. I think it's one that you guys are definitely, definitely gonna love and enjoy. Let's go ahead and make a quick iced white mocha. Okay guys, so our iced white mocha is gonna be super easy. We're gonna use La Complida Refinada for this one. Um, just because I think that when I made it with um, chocolates and sugar last time, it turned out really well. So we're gonna try it with this white mocha. Um, in addition to that, if I had double espresso Chiaro, I probably would have used that, but I'm out. So I think this will be a good substitute in wanting to try something different than the Altissio. Um, for this one, maybe I'll add some caramel, we'll see. But primarily, we're going to be using the Ghirardelli white chocolate flavored sauce. We're going to need some milk, some ice, and that's pretty much it. So first, I'm going to just go ahead and... Add some chocolate syrup to the glass. Squeeze. Right, so that looks like a good amount, right? Oh, the birds are outside. Then I'm gonna foam some milk and add it to the glass. I'm foaming milk on the cold setting in my arachino. Looks like our milk is all foamed, so I'm going to go ahead and combine the milk with the white chocolate sauce. There we go. Right? 
just like that. I'm gonna give it a little mix to combine. The white chocolate sauce is kind of thick, so I didn't want to put it in the arrochino. Alrighty. So I poured out about two ounces of the milk from the glass just because it wouldn't have been enough for the ice and the espresso. And I'm gonna go ahead and brew La Compida de Refinada on top. Alrighty, well, that looks just perfect. We're gonna mix this one together and see how we like it. Alrighty, so it is time for me to leave the house for work. So let's go ahead and wrap this on up. But um, we're gonna mix this in. Give it a good stir. Combine our white chocolate, our double espresso shot. Let's see what we think. That's really good too, but in a different way. Hmm. I didn't expect to like it this much with um, the bottled chocolate syrup. It's definitely not as smooth as like the real chocolate because the real chocolate is like nice and creamy, but it's definitely delicious. And again, how do some of you guys not like La Complita de Refinada? Like it's bomb. It paired so well to this white mocha. So I, this iced white mocha. So I suggest new recipe you guys trying it with that because it's pretty delicious yeah that's good it's kind of soft sweet i really really like this one again instructions for how to make will be in the bio down below you guys make it tag me on instagram i want to see and i'm gonna go ahead and package this one up put it in my to-go cup because i'm running late for work and i gotta put my uniform on but as usual, thank you guys so much for stopping by Maison Molly. It's always my pleasure to have you here. Uh, drop it in the comments down below. Do you like white mochas? How do you like to make your white mocha? Are you guys going to be trying any of these recipes? Let's chat in the comments down below. Thank you for stopping by Maison Molly, and I'll see you guys next time.